Tesla fanboy butthurt set a new altitude record in the lead up to Christmas. Yes. In fact, if butthurt were an Olympic sport, you members of the cult of electric Jesus would be going for gold if we ever managed to hold another modern Olympiad, that is. Details next. I'm John Cadogan from autoexpert.com.au and I get new cars cheap for buyers here in Australia. Website for that, obviously, or you can click the card that's on screen now. But in today's report, part one of my response to your most entertaining feedback. Thank you sincerely for hating my recent Tesla is doomed video. Currently hated by 21.2% of you as I sit here on my increasingly corpulent ass presenting this package. My near-term hate target is of course 25% hates on average, but I can never even come close typically, so thank you for the leg up there. Almost 3,000 comments too in under a week and overwhelmingly negative, which is just the way I like it. Galileo probably felt this way now that I think about it. I imagine Galileo posting his epic video, Pope Wrong, Earth Really Not, Center of Universe, and then just being, you know, deluged by a tsunami of faith-based hate in the comments, which is essentially what happened to Galileo, just without the modern tech. However, in my case, this still means roughly 78.8% of you upvoted that somewhat heretical video of mine, and the cult of EJ must really hate that. There are four adherents to the facts for each one of you fanboys out there. I thought the epistemology of reality had become somewhat more subjective than that, so this gives me hope. In this report, we're going to deal mainly with the farce that is and was Tesla's battery day. Tomorrow, we've got the real reason Tesla makes a profit. Pro tip, Tesla actually sells its cars at a loss. As I said in my initial report, part three is the definitive proof that Tesla's alleged technical superiority is bullshit. And part four is the very simple reason why internal combustion will be around for decades to come. Decades. I'll be rolling out one part per day for the next four days, so subscribe and hit the bell so you can contribute maximum hate in the comments as we wave goodbye to 2020. Over to you now. You were mentioned by name in the most recent video by Warren Redlich. He is making a video debunking this video and I think he said you're an idiot. Your mugshot will be featured, I'm almost sure. Someone is about to pick a fight with you, John. And to be honest, I'll be rooting for you. Please don't do any rooting on my behalf, Paul. Very kind of you, but wholly unnecessary, son. I actually don't care what Mr. Redlich or anyone else calls me or thinks or says. I am in emphatically the wrong job to give a shit about things of that nature. According to his LinkedIn profile, Mr. Redlich is a real estate agent with a law degree in Florida. So three from three there, and now he's a YouTube tech creator seemingly obsessed with the electric messiah and his sundry activities. So on balance, it's probably not gonna be a fair fight. I laugh every time I read this guy's channel expert lol. The guy is a muppet and should retire. He knows nothing. Would it not be impossibly excellent for some people to be afforded the luxury of going back in time and paying more attention to the basics at school? You know, reading, writing, arithmetic kind of thing, just for the sake of credibility. 22 words in that missive, eight basic errors. On ya, Dave. Well done, son. That's some high-yielding linguistic upfuckery. <laughs> I think you'd agree. But please do keep reading my channel. I enjoy that. Pro tip. It's probably better to argue the facts than just attack the dude, okay? Just saying, cut me down with repudiation wrapped in facts, if, of course, ye 
can. This Shitsville expert found a good dried cow manoeuvre and smoking it so deep that his short mind disattached from reality and he stuck in horse and carriage mentality. That's very perceptive. I was smoking my personal reserve of export grade cow manoeuvre on that very day, disattached from reality, in horse and carriage mentality as alleged, which I think you'd agree is the only way to fly. At least, you know, before the Wright brothers. So thank you, Baba Zhu, for your fine contribution to the program today. I'm wondering, did you perchance go to school with Dave from, you know, just earlier? Lol, this will not age well. R.I.P. this guy's credibility. I thank you so much for your deep concern in respect of my credibility, Brenton. Let's deal with that and the main points you dipshit fanboy detractors made from here on in. Get ready to foam at the mouth if you must. I think it's a distinct possibility. Did Tesla Battery Day not happen in your universe? Ah yes, Battery Day, September 22, 2020. Yet another nothing announcement from Electric Jesus. A series of nothing announcements in that case, with him let's face it, it's often all prick tease and very little follow through, if any. Only EJ could hold a battery day and deploy no actual physically existing battery and hope to get away with it. He announced the mythical 4680 battery, which, let's not forget, does not actually exist at this point. Perhaps in the future, but certainly not now. There's a video about the tabless 4680 battery, promises about chemistry packaging and thermal performance improvements, and a vague tweet from the Messiah, somewhat after Battery Day, that he's actually got a few prototypes up and running. But let's face it, his track record with what could loosely be termed the truth is kind of poor. As for actual production of the 4680 battery, it continues not to exist. It's just another promise at this point. And it sounds great, as these things often do, but I'm going to wait until I actually see one mass-produced in the flesh. In the domain of actual evidence, Mr. Musk did not show a physical example of the 4680 battery on the overly prick-teased battery day back in September. If one actually existed, don't you think he would have rolled one out and given the world a look? Because what a missed opportunity otherwise. Like, you would expect to see a new battery on battery day. Would you not? I certainly would. However, one thing I really do admire about Electric Jesus is that he is never afraid to announce the latest hunt for the elusive electric unicorn. One day he might well return with its head on a stick and doubters like me will have to eat our words and if that happens I will be happy too. But this is not going to happen anytime soon. On Battery Day, Mr Musk also promised to mine lithium from clay deposits after securing a 10,000 acre lithium clay mining lease in nearby Nevada. But unfortunately, there has never been any commercial production of lithium from clay sources. And don't take my word for this, okay? I don't know very much about mining. But Chris Berry, the president of Mountain House Partners and an analyst who specialises in energy metals exploitation, quoted there from The Verge in a feature on Battery Day and how ultimately disappointing it actually was, he knows a thing or three about lithium mining. Mr. Berry went on to point out that the world's most prolific lithium sources actually are exploited from lithium brine deposits in the so-called lithium triangle of Argentina, Bolivia and Chile, and also from hard rock deposits here in Schittsville. Like, why go to all that trouble mining lithium so far afield when you can just suck it out of clay virtually next door to Gigafactory 1? Mr. Berry explained. Well, geez, if it was this easy to find a domestic source of clay-based lithium and just use everyday materials like water and salt to produce commercial battery-grade quantities of lithium at scale, why haven't we been doing this all 
along. Indeed, why? Probably because it's uneconomical and or infeasible. Pro tip, a typical lithium mine takes about 10 years to get full regulatory approval in Miracle. So don't be holding your breath for electric Jesus to go 100% loaves and fishes with vertical integration on lithium battery production. Or if you do, make it a deep one. Overall, Battery Day is and was, in my estimation, mainly just bullshit. A PR stunt. And not just in my estimation. Here's a vertical integration sermon on the mount from the big guy himself on Battery Day. I mean to be clear, I would not like to say that it's totally working. It's close to working, but it's not even now at the pilot plant level. It is close to working well, I could say. It's fair to say probably it does work, but with not a good, not a high yield. So, at best, trying to be infinitely charitable here, turning the other cheek, the better to inherit meekly. Lithium from nearby clay is a firm possibility of a definite vertical integration pie in the sky, maybe, in a decade or so, at best, if we're really lucky. Plus, EJ also pontificated that these Fantasy Island Battery Day advances would slash battery cost and take EVs below the cost of internal combustion vehicles and put a $25,000 US dollar Tesla on the table in just three years. Which I <laughs> think it agree does sound somewhat exciting indeed, doesn't it? Unfortunately, though, the statute of bullshit limitations had already expired on that bogus claim. Mr. Musk previously declared this would be so by telling tech guru and YouTube megastar Marques Brownlee that it would take three years to achieve that back in 2018. So... He should rightly be unveiling that 25000 buck Tesla any day now. Of course, like any good religious scholar, rather than calling this out as abject untruth, I'm just going to alter my interpretation of the great man's words. Based on the Messiah's new law of universal 36-month henceforthery, which I just made up, in 2024... I predict a 25,000 US dollar Tesla will be offhand due in about 2027. And when 2027 finally rolls around, we might like to expect it in, uh, I don't know, 2030, and so on. Henceforth, perpetually so. This makes roughly as much sense as anything else attributable to any messiah of which I can think. Now, this is it for me today, part two. Sorry, fanboys, but Tesla really does not sell its cars at a profit. Tomorrow. Tesla makes a loss selling cars. That's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Suck it up and deal with it like the big boys you hope to be one day. Until then, don't forget to get on your hate wagon and pedal furiously down there. I will most certainly look forward to that. <laughs>